Welcome back, gang. For the first time and hopefully many more to come, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Let's get to Adam Kornacki. He's actually on the line. Adam, I do apologize, but I want to thank you, obviously, for taking out the time to come on the show. And uh, first and foremost, brother, Happy New Year's. How's everything? Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for having me on. Uh, New Year's is great. Uh, can't wait till uh, January 26th. Uh, finish, finishing off uh, this camp uh, last, like, last week of camp. Uh, next week is, you know, all the media stuff, a little tapering. I'm thrilled, man. So, so Adam, I just want to ask, like, um, who do you got working for you outside of uh, Al Heyman that that allowed you to land this fight with Gerald Washington? We have seen Joe Joyce aggressively seeking out a fight with uh, Gerald Washington, who obviously is a common opponent with the uh, Deontay Wilder and Gerald Miller, two guys you know well. Um, how this fight come about? Uh, I've been working with uh, Keith Colony for a while. So he's been uh, helping me out uh, along with Al Heyman. So uh, I have a great managerial team behind me. Uh, they're doing great work, you know, uh, building me up there, putting me in the right position to, to land a title shot. And for those that don't know, Keith Conley is obviously Daniel Jacobs' manager and others. Uh, he's also Sergey Dervichenko. He got Jacobs and Dervichenko that vacant title offer. So I'm happy to hear that for you, Adam. Um, now, uh, was it your choosing? Did you want uh, Gerald Washington, or did you have your eyes set on someone else? And if you wanted Washington, why did you feel this was the necessary fight? Uh, yeah, that, I think Washington is a great test. I mean, he fought a while there for the title. He's a former contender. He, he got the size. He's a big guy. He's uh, 6'6", 240. So uh, I just want to get used to fighting these big guys. Uh, I fought Charles Barney, who's also 6'5". And, like, the top world champions are around that height. So uh, I want to get used to uh, fighting with these, these big, big guys. Now, uh, now, Adam, how you doing? It's Mario Munguia here. Um, I wanted to ask you, he's definitely a big guy, uh, but you've been in the ring with some experienced guys. Arthur Spilka, um, there is one more, and I'm just forgetting who it is now. Uh, but you, Charles Martin. Charles Martin, yes, perfect. Thank you so much, Ness. Um, but he, the one thing that I'm looking for, Gerald Washington, who I've always considered an extremely underrated talent in the heavyweight boxing scene, is he is 36 years old. Uh, we've been having debates on the show about guys getting old overnight. Do you expect that at all from him? Obviously, you're preparing for the best, uh, Gerald Washington. But do you expect it all? Or you think you'll be able to take advantage of the age di discrepancy between the two of you? I mean, uh, I look for uh, every uh, every chance I can get. But uh, I'm, I'm, like you said, I'm ready for the best drill Washington. And uh, I know the best, best one's going to show up. I mean, it's a big fight for him. If uh, he pulls the upset, he's back there in the title mix. So uh, I can't let that happen. So uh, I'm preparing for the best one. And I'm ready to put the work on January 26th. Now, like Ness, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ralphie. Adam, uh, you, your trajectory is good. You've just fought Charles Martin in a fight which uh, it made, made headlines uh, for its excitement level. Um, is Gerald Washington a backward step? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, he fought for the title. Uh, after I beat Charles Martin, like the next step forward would be probably Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua, right? So, so I'm, those guys, uh, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking to fight contenders, or former world champions, and then eventually a world champion. So uh, I think it's another tough exam. I'm not taking Joe Washington uh, lightly. I've been in camp for for a while. Uh, I've been sparring top guys. Uh, Big Baby Miller came through. You know, Mike Coffin, Nicole Salman. I mean, I'm in great shape. I just and I uh, I just got to go out there. And make a statement that uh, I'm for real, which I think I've been proving so far. Well, we definitely want to talk about that big baby work, but uh, I, I wanted to go back to the thing that Ness said. He talked about the common opponent factor. He's obviously got big baby on there, Miller, and he's obviously got Wilder. Um, Wilder got to stop him in five. Now, uh, you know, you're going to go out there, you're going to have your game plan, but do you think that A, 
it would be a huge statement if you were to be able to take him out sooner than those guys were and B is that your plan to go out there and get him out as fast as you can being that he is 36 years old yeah for sure uh I'm a pressure fighter so hopefully I'll catch with a couple of good good shots and I'll take him out there early you know does that say more than what than it does with Wilder do, do you think that that's something that we can gauge if you're able to take him out uh sooner then that means you're ready for the Wilders of the world yeah, for sure. I mean, I did it with Spuka, right? I didn't like and have the time. So if I, I mean, I'm able to do it with uh, Washington. I mean, what's next? You know, uh, I think that's the only way to go after after I beat Joel Washington. You know, uh, so that's the game plan. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to make a big statement. It's gonna be on Fox, a huge network. It's a Kobe event. I mean, I'm thrilled, man. It's it's been a long time coming. I think uh, this. This will put me in uh, another level in, in the boxing uh, industry. Adam, uh, I just, you know, as I'm here listening, I just felt the necessary, the need to say uh, thank you again for coming on. Um, it, it almost feels like deja vu hearing you speak uh, about your upcoming fight and your opponent because it feels like when you were on the show discussing Charles Martin, the same pressure was put on you. Uh, common opponent. Are you going to perform better than Anthony Joshua? You fought Spielka. Are you going to perform better than Deontay Wilder? Now here you are with Washington. Are you going to perform better than your best friend, uh, Big Baby Miller? Do you think that you're putting too much pressure on yourself by fighting these specific common opponents? Or is this just the natural order of the heavyweight division and the way that things have to be? Uh, diamonds are formed under pressure, man. So uh, I love the pressure. Uh, I, I want to make sure, like, that I'm a diamond, I'm a diamond in the heavyweight division. So uh, I love the pressure, and, uh, and I'm going to deliver on January 26th. All right. Well, I got a couple of questions here from the public, our most loyal listeners, the patrons. We're going to go from Joel in Dubai. He says, what are you and your team's plans for the future? What is your take in the state of the heavyweight division right now? Uh, I think the state of the heavyweight division is uh, very interesting. I mean, it's, it's booming. There's talks of uh, Wilder, uh, Vladimir Klitschko coming back. You have Fury and Wilder that fought to a draw. You have Anthony Joshua, Dylan White. I mean... Big baby Miller, me. I mean, the heavyweight division is uh, it's it's alive and well. I think uh, a lot of great matchups will be made in the future. So uh, I think it's a very good time to be uh, the heavyweight division. But uh, I'm not looking past Joel Washington right now because uh, I mean, he is it's a, it's a tough division. So a heavyweight division where one punch could change everything. So uh, right now I'm just focused on January 26. And what are your plans for the, for the future? Uh, right now, I'm just focused on January 26, making sure I get the W on 26 and uh, the 27th or the night after the 26th, and uh, I'll know more about my future. Right now, I'm just focused on that date, you know, on the 26th. But eventually, it's, I want to get a title shot, you know, put myself in a position where uh, I get a title shot. And Brandon Maurice question is do you think that the toughness of the charles martin fight slowed down when you would get a title shot uh, i don't think so i think uh it was a great fight uh charles martin was probably in the best shape of, of his career uh you know he it was a bust win fight for him so uh i proved i beat uh a game charles martin and uh i mean you know i don't think it stopped it down it's it was i mean the heavyweight division is, is it's a lot of great matches being made and i have to wait my turn you know uh, the heavyweight champion picks who he wants to fight next that's the other way around so i have to build my name up in the rankings and uh eventually when i'll be the number one contender uh i'll get a title shot and the next one comes from let's get it live productions with you being ranked number nine in the wbc rankings and five in the ibf rankings you have two future opportunities at title shots. 
which of the two belts, IBF or WBC, do you want to go for first? I believe you're highly ranked in another. Let me just notify you that it says here in the WBC, you're still number nine, which I don't understand because you beat Charles Martin and you were already number nine. I, I would figure you would move slightly. And then in the, let me see. Yep, IBF, you are number five. So it's WBC and, and IBF. Which uh, do you prefer? Uh, I mean, it's, I'll be world champion. I mean, that's my ultimate goal. So uh, whichever way I can make it, uh, that's the way you don't go. Like I said before, I have a great man judo team behind me with uh, Al Heyman and Keith Colony. So uh, whatever comes around first is the option we're going to take. And Mad Ben asks, what – are your advantages over the top heavyweights? I think my pressure. Uh, I'm a great pressure fighter. I keep coming forward. Uh, I throw over 70 punches around. I think that's, that's a big plus that I have. Plus, I have the heart of a lion. You know, uh, as, you, as, you, as, you, as you guys saw in my fight, so uh, there's no quit in me. All right. This one is a good one. Might be tough. Uh, N.O. from New Orleans says, and these are his words, not mine, who would be a tougher fight for you from one to five? Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Anthony Johnson, Dillian White, or Luis Ortiz? Oh, my God. They're so funny. <laughs> well, so, I mean, all these guys are tough, you know. Uh, but, uh, I'm there to put down the best heavyweight in the world. So, uh, I mean, I think they're all equal ranked. All of them provide different uh, different challenges. But uh, I think all of them are beatable. So, so I mean, it depends. You know, uh, all of them have different uh, attributes and, uh, and weaknesses. All right. And the last one. Right. Uh is from Body Shop Benny. He says, who has better stamina, Big Baby Miller or yourself? I think uh, it's, it's close. You know, uh, we both uh, work hard. We both throw a lot of punches. So so uh, for two big boys, our stamina, I think, is pretty amazing, especially with our pop, uh, pop shot, uh, punch output. Uh, before I let you go, are are you excited of the rumor that Andy Ruiz is also signing Al Heyman? Yeah, I mean it's great. I mean it may probably make a a lot of more great fights come up and make the fight a lot e easier to make. So I'm happy. Uh, Andy Ruiz, you got, will get a chance to fight on a great platform like PBT is. Well, Adam, man, I want to thank you, obviously, for your time. If you have any social media, you can give it out at this time. We will be tuned in uh, on January 26th, Keith Thurman versus Osecito Lopez and yourself versus Gerald Washington. We can't wait. Thank you again for your time. Thank you for having me. Uh, you can hit me up on uh, Instagram and Twitter at AKBabyface or at uh, Facebook at Adam Kovnatsky. Of the fan page for all your like uh, latest updates. I'm having a meet and greet later today in a uh, Greenpoint in the Amber uh, Steakhouse for all the fans that want to come out and uh, take a picture, meet up. We have some raffle tickets give, give giveaway. So uh, I'd like to invite all the fans to come out to uh, the Amber Steakhouse in Greenpoint, New York. The start at six. All right. Well, thank you so much. There you have it. Uh, give once again to give you social media. So if they want to go to the steakhouse, they can find that information on that social media. AK babyface. All right. Well, thanks again, Adam. It's Thank you, Adam. I can't wait to get you back. There you have it. Top contender, Adam Kornacki. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.